Word change for today is going to be resume. Resume is a word that I don't like for a couple of reasons. The primary one is going to be that it is spelled exactly like resume. So that confusion there, just the two words having the exact same spelling with different pronunciation, hate that. We're going away from that. And I used to kind of think that resume was only correct when it had an apostrophe over the E, but that's not the case. I think it's interpreted both ways and might even be correct when it's just spelt just like resume. Either way, in whiplish, we're going to get rid of the word so we don't have to deal with that crap. And even though resume is kind of a fun word to say, I'm not a big fan of resumes overall. There's some aspects of them that I think just kind of oversimplify things and really constrict how people can portray themselves. And it also kind of creates a lot of barriers for people. There, of course, is value in resumes, and they can be helpful in some scenarios, especially if you're trying to get through mass amounts of applications and stuff. But they can also just hold deserving people back a lot and can hurt as much as they help in some scenarios. So let's move on to what I'm going to be changing it to which will be simpliciform. Simpliciform, you can probably garner like the meaning that I'm drawing from on this already. However, there's maybe a couple other nuances that are maybe not so readily apparent. So simpliciform, of course, it starts out with simplici, like simplicity and simplify is kind of the structure of that because that's really what a resume is. You're simplifying your experiences that make you an appealing candidate for something and putting them on one sheet of paper or well if it's electronic which most of them are at this point then just a document because that's what it is it's a simple form a simplified form so that's how we got to simpliciform i almost went with simplicity sheet especially because of how it's all about simplicity and those sound similar however the reason we went with simpliciform instead is because we have that C in there, and then the end of the word is form. Two other things that involve those is the word conform, and that is exactly what resumes push people to do. They make everyone conform. You're doing the same thing in the same format, putting the same information with just filling out details. That's exactly how resumes are supposed to be, how they're taught, you're supposed to conform to the format that everybody uses. Don't do anything different or else you can basically write yourself off in most scenarios, which if you haven't figured out now, I kind of hate doing what's normal and not trying to build off of things and improve things. So the conformity of resumes where everything has to be in the same format and you're chastised and usually excluded if you do anything even a little different, even if you're in a creative field, usually you can't really branch out with your resume. Like I went to business school and like even going through courses where they're talking about resumes and I graduated with a marketing degree too. They're just like, well, if you're going in a marketing field, you can maybe do something crazy on your resume, like use blue as your font or incorporate a color in some way. <laughs> and so like that's the farthest you can reach with a resume. And that's if you're in a creative different field. So you really have to conform with resumes. That's why I liked having simpliciform where it has conform kind of built into the middle and ending of the word. And we already talked about simple and simplify and stuff like that, but there's also simp in it because you're simping when you're submitting resumes, like going through these interview processes and stuff, like you're a simp for these companies. You're just giving it all. They're gods because they have the power. I mean, if you're fresh into the workforce and you have no leverage, you don't have experience, that's just kind of how it is. So you're a simp in that situation. So I think there's so many things working in that word with simpliciform that really captures the essence of resume that I think it's a phenomenal change. And that's what we're going with, act accordingly. Now let's move on to the comment of the day. Comment of the day comes from Gavin. He says the combination of Mambalief and Peshifidence will result in the greatest victory mankind has ever experienced. Your Pacanya will be full of wealth and prosperity, and Mountain Dew will be rejoicing from atop mountains screaming more bonitians. 
and Dwayne Johnson will just have to sit awkwardly to the side, love orbiting after missing out on this fantastic opportunity on Shark Tank. S. M. H. Now, if we're being honest, uh, I'm confused with a lot of this comment. I was with you until you brought in The Rock, then I just was really quite confused. First couple of English words were all used pretty well. Said every instead of ever, which is one little typo. And what's going on with The Rock and Shark Tank, I just, I don't even know. So <laughs> the, the end of the comment just kind of confuses me. Overall, I would say this is solid, probably slightly above average. However, we have some elements that just are perplexing to me. So we're going to end up giving you a 167 out of 215. Now, for the song of the day, it is Soren by Bazzi. And I actually have not listened to a whole lot of Bazzi. I think I discovered him a couple months ago. But he had some really good songs. I haven't done like a deep dive of his catalog yet, but this is one that I enjoy a lot. And I would definitely give Soren a shot. Then for the video of the day, kind of another thing I'm not like super familiar with. This is a Jim Ross classic one-liners. He's like a WWE commentator, or at least he used to be. And I never really watched a ton of WWE, but like it can be funny. I also think it's really meme-y. And there's just so many dramatic, interesting, wide red things going on that it can be pretty hilarious. So I saw this in my recommended, watched it for a couple minutes, and it's only like three minutes long, and it's pretty great, even like completely out of context. And if you don't watch it, you son of a bitch. Well, that's gonna do it for the Daily Do. Peace out.